Always wondered why movie stars look like movie stars when they're on camera? Well, some of it's makeup, and some of it's this effect. I might have overdone it a little bit. I'm going to show you two ways to improve features in DaVinci Resolve that can even fix this face. Let's have a look. So the first thing you want to do is load your footage in. This is the footage I've put in. Uh, I haven't done any color correction or done any fixings yet. And let's talk about how we can use two ways to fix it. So make sure you're in the Edit tab. You go over to your Effects tab. Go down to Open Effects. And type in, in the search bar, Beauty. And you'll see this thing here. You can drag that straight on top of your footage. And you'll see an instant improvement. So let's go to the Inspector tab. And we're just going to scroll in a bit. And I'm just going to... You can see that it's a bit fuzzy because I haven't sharpened it yet. But, if you take that off, you can see that there is a clear difference. It does a minor change. So it cleans up the skin a little bit. Cleans up the bags under your eyes a little bit. So on the right here in the inspector tabs, you can see the, the actual settings you've got. You've got Ultra Beauty, you've got Automatic Advanced and so on. If you go to Advanced, you get a few more options. You can make it even really sharp, which makes me look more horrible than normal, and so on. But you've got diffuse lighting options, you've got all these other different things you can try. You go back to Ultra Beauty, which is the one I leave it on most of the time. You've got Flatten and you've got Filter. Filter will smooth the skin out a bit more. Um, if you click on, if you move Filter Radius up and down, it will actually increase the size of what's filtered, so it won't just be your face, it'll be sort of the whole picture. So if you scroll out, Filter Radius cleans up the background as well, if that's what you want it to do. And your face at the same time. And the edge threshold shows you where the edge of your filtering is. I tend to just leave that one alone. Now if you turn that off, you can see a clear difference. But there is another way, which is even more intense. Go to the color tab down the bottom here. Click on your effects tab up the top here and type in face refinement. And you drag that onto your node here like this. So if you click on analyze here, it's actually going to analyze your face for the whole footage. It's analyzing the movement, it's tracking everything. This is much more precise than the first method. You can untick the show overlay so you can see your face like normal. And now when you adjust things, you have complete control over what happens to just your face. So you can bring in the detail if you want, me to, if you want to make yourself look old. Oh my god. <laughs> and you can pull out the detail as well. You can do things like eye retouching. So eye bag removal, you can get rid of that. You can see that if I zoom in on it a bit more. You can see the, the eye bag removal here, like that. You can do eye brightening, if that's what you want to do. Make yourself look like a demon. You can do eye sharpening, if it's not sharp enough. And eye light, if you want to light just around the eyes a bit more. Well, the eye light is perfect if you're um, filming in the sun and you get the sort of raccoon, raccoon shadows, raccoon eyes. That, uh, that helps that. You can get into lip retouching as well. You can give it a different colour if you want. And on how much saturation you want to give it. Upper lip can be smooth. This is basically full makeup control. You can add blush if you want to. A bit of colour to the cheeks. Forehead retouching. It's great if you have a lot of wrinkles. So you can smooth that right out if you want to. Cheek retouching. Chin retouching even. It gives you control over just that area. Then you've got Global Blend, which blends all those settings back in. So if I play right now, look a little strange. 
Now this doesn't look overly natural at the moment because I've done it to the full extent, but you do have a fair bit of control if you want to change how you look or how someone else looks. And of course, if you go back into the edit tab, you can even do that even more. You go back into inspector and you can click on the beauty tab and extreme that even more. So you can double up on your effect if you want to. Now that you know how to fix people's faces, you may need to relight them. Click on this video here to check out that, and also this video above if you're a beginner for DaVinci Resolve, and I'll see you in the next video.